she wasn't expecting, I think, to find as many ghost stories as she did. Those ghoulish tales make up a vast part of the exhibit that was completed by Riley Jelinus as a master's project for her studies at the University of Lethbridge. She interviewed over a dozen indigenous, settler, and former owners of the hotel for her work. Dr. Christine Alexander, an associate professor of history at the University of Lethbridge, said that during the interviews that Jelinus conducted, there was always a constant theme of an unusually scary tale that took place at the hotel. It's become sort of a central part of what she argues in her thesis, and she discusses it in this exhibit as well, that we need to, that I think thinking about the idea of a contact zone, and this is what this hotel was, was a space where indigenous and settler folks met each other, grappled with each other, and where ideas about, you know, sometimes racist ideas were articulated, reinforced, but also contested. I think that it is haunted, and it's haunting. Tyler Stewart, the curator for the Galt Museum and Archives, told us the American Hotel was seen as somewhat of a gathering place for indigenous peoples in a largely white town. But as ownership changed, it affected who was allowed inside. Throughout the years, it was also the site of barroom brawls and violence. Stewart says the whole project is told through the voices of those who live the stories of the American Hotel. Rather than Riley's perspective as the cur curator so much. Um, so I think she did a great job of that. Um, I, I look forward to reading her full like master's thesis paper that will accompany this exhibition. Staff from the Galt Museum told us you can view the exhibit and get a better understanding of the history of the American Hotel until October 8th. For Bridge City News, I'm Micah Quinn.